Hello, my name's Liz Watkins. I'm an illustrator based in London. I thought that I would share some of my sketchbook spreads and show how I use my main colours when working on location. I'm not particularly good at mixing colours, so I tend to have some ready-made ones in my watercolour tin. I'll start off with this drawing from Kew Gardens. As you can see, there are lots of areas where I've sort of done a underpainting and in blobs of colour which are in the landscape. Then I work over the top, moving from light to dark. I leave some areas completely white, then start with the light tones. With this particular scene, there was this nice contrast between the hillside and the distant trees. Um, the, the plants with larger leaves in the foreground too. There's a little bit of pastel on top as watercolour to add a little texture. I have the perylene green here to emphasise the distant trees and some olive green too. I use this technique quite often where I draw on top of a colour trying to work out the different shapes of the foliage. two drawings from Bonington Gardens in Vauxhall. This is an example where you can see quite clearly where I started off using the big areas of colour. This is an area where there are lots of um, tropical plants. I've used the perylene green to create these deep shadows. tried to introduce other colours that were in the uh, landscape there in the gardens. This sketch of courgette leaves is from my garden. You can see how I pasted the basic shape of the leaves in one light tone, then worked in medium tones, then a darker layer. Also in this sketchbook, I have a spread where you can see where I've used more of the idea to paint on top of coloured areas, using the brush to help describe the plant shrubs and leaves. This sketch was in the park near where I live. There's quite a lot of solid colour but I use the technique I mentioned before to draw the leaves as I'm not patient enough to draw them properly. It was a really sunny day with lots of shadows which was great for showing the contrast. You can see the colours in my palette. I use this one, a oxide of chromium quite a lot. It's quite an English green, a bit dull and opaque like the colour of lawns. The very pale areas are terra verte which is a very pale green, almost like the underside of an olive leaves. It's a great one to use in a background wash. Here's another spread from the same park where you can see I've drawn the tree foliage in a similar way. I put a wash of the terra verde on first, then added the pine tree behind, cutting in to create the shape of the foreground tree. Moving on to another sketchbook, this is a drawing from Kew Gardens. A lot of the techniques came together in this one. Unfortunately the pages stuck together in the middle, 
but I think you can see how I've used different simplified patterns to describe the different plants. This was in the Italian garden at Kew Gardens on a really lovely spring day. I have two searches here from the Kyoto Garden, which is in Holland Park. You can see this one, how I, um, how I start off. I, it, I left it unfinished, it wasn't really going that well. Then I tried again, this time focusing on the water, which was very dark and reflective. I used a perylene green again for this. It's really versatile, versatile colour to have in your palette. And here to finish off, a few little vin vignettes um, done in Streatham. Similar again with the use of pattern, the brush strokes to do some of the drawing. This adds more interest. There's also some white gel pen on the splashing water. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please subscribe to this channel.